what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A CTA bus driver is out of a job after he body slammed another man after intervening between a fight with he and another bus driver. Backstory. So the authority says that Lawrence Madden had battered another bus driver. Insert Mylon Williams, who came up behind Lawrence, picked him up off the ground and slammed him into the concrete. Look like some of that WWE, what is it, WWE? What's the name of the, what's the name of the wrestling federation now? I think it's WWF or WWE, one of them. Anyway, he body slammed the dude. I mean, vicious. What's amazing is that they say the, the uh, victim actually was able to get up on his own and walk home two miles. But he didn't call the police for two days. This is what the lawyer for the defense is arguing. Dude got fired and he's saying that, you know, he was just trying to help out a fellow bus driver. But the CTA did not see it that way. Got rid of that boy. He has been charged with felony assault. That's a serious case. He could do prison time. They say that Mylon Williams has never been disciplined in the five years that he's worked for the company. Never had any issues. When I first saw it, I was like, yeah, he probably had it coming. Because you got to think, fam, it takes a lot to be a bus driver. It doesn't matter what your route is. It takes a lot to be a bus driver. You're dealing with strangers every day. You're dealing with all kinds of people from all walks of life. You're dealing with rich, poor. You're dealing with people that have mental issues. You're dealing with some people that are just having a bad day. People got all kinds of attitudes and they give that attitude to the driver oftentimes. So if he's been working in Chicago as a bus driver for five years, imagine the toll that all of that disrespect must have taken on him. He did do something dirty. I was watching dude's reaction when he first slammed him. And I was, he looked like he was paralyzed. I mean, dude just, boom. This family is a warning to all of you out there who antagonize people who just have regular jobs trying to go about their business. Having said that, I was once one of those guys who used to antagonize the bus driver. Well, not necessarily the bus driver, but I used to just be really bad on the bus. I would antagonize the passengers. But I wasn't by myself. I succumbed to, I succumbed to peer pressure. It was peer pressure that made me do it. Um, but I was young, I was a teenager. Not really an excuse, but I'm past that stage. I have now realized the error of my ways and I won't do it again. And I wouldn't advise you to do it. Leave these people alone, man. Let people do their job. With all of the shootings that go on in Chicago, dude is lucky that the bus driver didn't pull out a strap and knock his noodles. So what happened to the other bus driver? Fire. Something don't seem right with that. 
But let's go back to the victim, who I hesitate to call the victim, but hey, you know, for the sake of argument, victim. He had four jobs. Get on the bus, pay his fare, sit down, and get off. And he blew it. Better look next time, buddy. No more talk. What the haters talking about?